Welcome, in front of me is a Sony Xperia 1 Mark 7 and today I'll show you a couple of tweaks and tricks you can do on this device. So, to get started we're going to open up our settings application. And let's go over some of the options here. So, we can begin by navigating into the display section right over here and we all have a couple options so starting off with the image quality settings we have recommended and custom options so these are just kind of saturations to the display um, so under custom we actually have a bit more control so we have standard mode and uh, creator mode now this one will try to be supposedly color accurate as uh, this device is designed to be also used, I believe, as a viewfinder for your uh, alpha cameras from Sony. Obviously, it would be very beneficial for you to see the, uh, the whatever the camera sees in the same kind of colors and, <clears throat> and obviously them being represented fully in a correct way. So that's kind of what this goes for. Now, moving on, we have high refresh rate. Uh, this is just an option for uh, having the 120 hertz refresh rate for the display if you turn that off and the device will run up to 60 frames per second instead of the 120. Uh, now i do want to point out here on this on sony there is only a single thing toggle it on or off but uh, i'm pointing that out because most devices have a couple options like the uh, dynamic refresh rate normal and uh, high here they decided to just forego the high option which on other devices that would force the device to run permanently at 120 hertz refresh rate here it will run up to 120 but when it doesn't need to it lowers it down and if you turn that off it's going to run up to 60 but lower it down if it doesn't need to run it even up to 60. now the general gist of this option actually going back to it is if you can see the difference between 120 and 60 uh, probably stick with the 120 it will give you just a nice smooth motion when scrolling like up and down this looks just nicely buttery smooth uh, while 60 will just look a little bit more choppy uh, but will get you get you better battery life now moving on we have dark theme in here which is enabled right now i actually prefer a light one so i'm gonna turn it off and uh, outside of just turning it on and off i, I just did you can select it on the schedule so this will make it the device switch between these two modes automatically based on either sunset to sunrise custom timer or even bedtime and the bedtime option uh, option is actually pretty nice as it will just kind of um, turn itself on when it detects that you're kind of like going to bed now moving on what else we have here nothing interesting let's move over to wallpaper and style which is a general section where you can customize the look and feel of your device uh, outside of just wallpapers and lock screen wallpapers we do have things like accent colors which are these ones right here for instance uh, so we can change it as you can see um, choose whichever one you want um, we can change the wallpaper we can edit the shortcuts that you have right here so these two so we can change those. You can also get rid of them if you want to. Uh, so we can select it to be none. And since both none and now if we go back, we still have camera for some reason. Yep, we still have camera for some reason, but the other ones are gone. Uh, so almost get rid of all of them. Um, you can also customize the uh, lock, the clock not lock geez. um or clock on the lock and you can see that we have two options not too much customization but still some now if we switch to home screen we do have additional options like the themed icons this will change them to green basically for the most part as you can see so it picks the color that is right here uh, and we also have color contrast so this just uh, allows you to have certain things like for instance like the star pop out more and well i think it's more visible right here so it just increases the contrast for certain uh certain things and then we have the grid which allows you to pack more icons on your home screen making them a little bit smaller and more tightly packed now moving on oh, 
right this is the op tray uh, moving on we have two applications in here that i want to kind of talk about for people that uh, want a little bit more out of their phone specifically more like cameras here so the sony xperia phones come with their own video and photo applications we have uh, video creator although i think this one actually might be a video editing software if i'm not mistaken yep uh, so this is the video editing software there is a somewhere let me just try to find it we have camera right here now this one is is it the default one or not this one looks to be the default camera. I'm still looking for the non-default. As we need to just download it. So this is the only option that we have right here. Alright, uh, not limited access, it just needs to all access, of course, because of course it does. Yeah, so this is just editing. We have the normal camera. I'm looking for the basically what could be explained as a pro mode for this. Oh, there we go. So we have pro video and pro photo. Uh, before it was a separate application, I was pretty sure that it's still here as it looked like this application. So now it's combined with the default camera, which is probably a best choice. So now we have a normal camera as you can see. Uh, but if you go into more and then this little box right here you have access to the pro photo for instance Come on. i need to drag it here apparently i do there we go now this gives you much more granular uh, option over your camera uh, controlling things like exposure iso um, white balance along with, uh, from what I remember, at least the Pro Video. Let me showcase this. Pro Video had this also cool option of having multi-focus. So you can select two different focal points and with the top of a button, uh, it will, for instance, whatever it was looking at, that was, let's say, focus. The other one was blurred. So you can have it set on both focuses and it will just swap between them. So if this is blurred right now and this is in focus. You tap a button and it just kind of gradually with a specified speed by you, switches focal point to the back one while this becomes blurry, obviously. So it gives you nice cinematic uh, abilities to do some uh, fun shots uh, with a lot of control, more than typical cameras have, more than basically almost every phone camera has. But in any case, uh, that would basically summarize all the tweaks and tricks I want to show you. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.